doing here? This is the first free weekend I've had for a surprise visit. Unless you count that weekend I spent lost in the city after leaving breadcrumbs to find my way home. But eventually I made it. And now I also have 150 pet rats. Hi, Gwen. I'm Parker. I've heard so much about you. And quite frankly, I'm a little frightened. Oh, thank you. Mateo told me you're a good friend, so you have nothing to fear from me. Let's keep it that way. Gwen, is that you? Mateo! We're so glad you're back. Everyone missed you. Gwen, it's me, Finn. You might not recognize me because I'm much more mature now. Also, I grew this many inches. <laughs> What's living in the city like? It's been a pretty big adjustment. I had to get used to a ton of brand new stuff, including my first plane ride. And how'd it go? Well, I ran up and down the aisle screaming about how only witchcraft could be keeping us in the sky. On the bright side, they put me on a super elite group called the No Fly List. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually here. Oh, right. This is the first time you guys been together since you officially been together. <laughs> so, what are we all gonna do now? <laughs> or we could give you guys some alone time to catch up. Good call, Noah. Well, hey, not to brag, but I do have a lot of experience being an unwelcome third wheel. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I missed you so much. It's good to be back. Hardly anything has changed. <gasps> My beaver traps are even right where I left them. Oh, and I got a couple. <laughs> so that's what that smell is. I owe Ava an apology. I guess she never did supply what she denied. Having you back is just like old times. Yeah. How does it compare to city life? Well, everything moves faster there, and people aren't as friendly like they are here. I don't think I fit in school very well either. Why not? Apparently, if you're too good at dissecting a frog, it makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, I hope my carving kit is still where I buried it. These beavers aren't gonna turn themselves into hats. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, I suspected she buried knives. That's why I don't walk around barefoot. <laughs> no, about how hard it is for Gwen living in the city. She clearly wants to come back here. So let's ask her to stay. We can't just ask her. She has too much pride. The only reason she'll stay is if she thinks it's for us. Which it totally wouldn't be. This is totally about her. Totally. I know the perfect way to fix this. Don't say acting. acting. <laughs> Hear me out. We can act like we can't take care of ourselves without her, then she'll want to stay and protect us. You think we can pull that off? Well, I know I have the chops. And if we can get you to start acting with your hands, I think we got a chance. <laughs> yes! And then Gwen will stay and we'll be happy. I mean, she'll be happy because we're selfless people. Yup, it's true because we're saying it. <laughs> hey, Destiny. What you got there? I made your go-to meal, scavenger scramble, with all of your favorite forest pickings in it. Oh, I miss this. City pickings always have bottle caps in them. <laughs> well, this sure doesn't have anything dangerous in it. I hope. <laughs> Okay, first bite. Here I go. I'm gonna do it. It's happening. <laughs> oh, Destiny, wait! Oh, good. <laughs> you can't eat that. It's got fire root in it. Wow! I had no idea. That would have been terrible, right? <laughs> well, you definitely have a few days of the hot burps. <laughs> Whatever will happen the next time I decide to forage for food. Gwen! Oh, there you are. I found a bunch of deadly rump spiders in the grizzly cabin. Help! Aren't those named deadly rump spiders because they inflict painful bites on the rum? And deadly, because if you try to sit down, it's murder on your tushy? Oh, no! I'll go get rid of them. You know, when I leave, I'm starting to get a little worried about what could happen to you and your tushies. What do you think? I think you took my hand note too far, but that's okay. It'd be easier to pull you back than bring you up. I meant about Gwen. I think the fire root and the deadly rum spiders were almost enough to make her stay, but not quite. Yeah. We need a big, dangerous scene. Something with gravitas and spectacle, but on a shoestring budget. And I think I know just the thing. What do you have in mind? Nothing. 
I thought it would come to me if I said it really slowly. Kiwana, 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 Kiwana.